it was an anaconda. Nikki Burdine joining us now from the Animal Welfare League of Arlington with more on this bizarre story. Bizarre and a story that gives you the EBGBs, right, Deborah? Well, this is where the snake was taken to after animal control officers found it. And while most of us were understandably shocked to hear about this, turns out it's actually not that uncommon. I have found all kinds of fun stuff. And animal control officer Jennifer Toussaint says recently the number of large constrictors found where they aren't supposed to be, like an anaconda, has jumped to about one or two a month. Completely not abnormal for us to find these larger constrictors out and about in places that you would not think. On October 27th, that perfectly normal discovery was found at an apartment complex on South 31st Street in Arlington. The person came into the bathroom, lifted up the lid, and found what was probably the last thing they expected to see, an anaconda right there in their toilet. Animal control removed the reptile and neither the officer or the snake were hurt. But how did a snake get there in the first place? They can get loose, they make their way through people's walls and they just kind of show up wherever there's a hole. This snake named Sir Hiss is still a baby and only about four or five feet long. He was never claimed, so a reptile specialist adopted him. As for why these exotic snakes keep showing up where they're not wanted, for one, it's fairly easy to buy one. We found several ads for anacondas online. The internet provides a lot of resources to people who want to purchase whatever they want, whenever they want, wherever they want. And in Arlington County, not illegal to own. Currently, there's no exotics code in Arlington County, so it could have been a Bengal tiger sitting in a toilet before. Jennifer says she plans to propose such regulations to the Arlington County Board. Until then, these stories will continue to be normal for her. I had a woman a few years ago, she was changing a light bulb in her ceiling and a larger constrictor, um, a standard uh, ball python came down out of the hole that the gap for the light made when she pulled the ball down. Now, I tried to meet Sir Hiss, but since this is still an open investigation, we were not allowed to. Now, if you got the EBGBs from that story, just like I did, don't worry. I tweeted out a couple of cute pictures of some dogs that are up for adoption <laughs> here at the Animal Welfare League of Arlington. Back to you guys. Thanks, Nikki. I may.